Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. If you're enjoying this series or any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and a like on the episodes does really help. Today we're attending our first ever auction. Hopefully we can pick up some good bargains and add some more cars to our track time leaderboards. So, we haven't done this before. This is a first. So car auctions. And off we go. Now, I wasn't expecting this. We've got two choices, salvage cars or car auctions. I'm assuming salvage cars are cars that are going to be lower priced. And car auctions are going to be better cars that have got not as much damage, would be my thinking. So we'll go for the salvage cars, as I think we've got some money, but I don't want to waste it. I'd rather see if we can get some decent bargains and see what we can find. So here we are. These are the choices. And straight away, my eyes are drawn to the Jaguar down the bottom there. We did the DLC recently and had a little look at different cars. That's an interesting one. Starting price seems low, 3,651. There's a nice Porsche on there. Star rating, I'm not sure what that means. It does say, I'm assuming it's quality. So how much needs rebuilding? So one star needs lots of work. A five star would mean not so much, maybe. As I say, a lot of this is all new to us. We're, all, we're learning this as we go. So that's my assumption. But that Jaguar is definitely, it's definitely there. So I think we should go for it. Let's have a look. And here it is, this lovely Jaguar. Well, it definitely needs work. <laughs> That's the first thing I should say. Um, yeah, it needs a bit of work. It's more of a shell with a few issues. But if we get it for the right price, I don't think it'd be too bad. Nice V6 in there. It all depends on the price. That's going to be the big thing. Let's have a look. So it's valued at 11,000, just over 11,000. I think our max bid will be 15,000. Always have a max bid. You never want to go into an auction without knowing your top top end limit. So since the value is just short of 12,000, our max bid will be 15. And we're off and running already. Look at this. Okay, fast and furious. Can we get it for a decent price? Not quite. Nearly. We've come close a few times. Nearly to our top end. And we won. We won the car. We paid 13551 So a bit short of our maximum bid. I'm happy with that. I think that's a really good deal on the Jaguar. So we have our first auction buy. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> it's, it's really one of those weird feelings. Um, yeah. I'm glad we had the max bid because I wasn't going to go over it. And I think we'll have to definitely follow that through on the next cars. So we're going to do a few of these. So next, what are we looking at? There's a good few choices. I'm kind of having an iron between cars we haven't done before and cars that we're due to do a one star on. So we're going to have a look at the bulk cargo next. It's a car we haven't done. And again, it needs some work, but that's to be expected. It's not got all its doors. But we haven't done a bulk cargo yet, so it'll be interesting to do a rebuild and put it around the track. So let's have a look. It's an express version as well. It's a van. I don't know what else there is to think about when I'm looking at it, really. It's a van. Uh, curious to what the top end will say its value is. That's an interesting one. It's got a V8 in it, so a decent size engine, which it should have. Let's have a look at its price. Wow. So it's got a decent estimated value. So I'd say our top bid, 30000 That's a few grand over the estimated value. I think that's a fair bit. I think that's a fair top end. Starting price is £4,955. Each bid is 800 increments. This may take a while, depending on how much it goes up. Let's see. Two star as well, rated. Hopefully that means it's not. It doesn't go for a massive amount of money. But although we're getting up there already. Over 15 already. Halfway towards our max bid. Up to 19. We are eking our way towards our max. We're quite near its estimated value as well now. Okay. We're still going to keep going. We're still okay. And we've done it. We got it for £25,755. Under its estimated value. I'm pretty impressed with that. Pretty happy. So we're going to build a bulk cargo for the first time. 
Okay, what's next? There's so many choices. I'm looking at the Katagiri Tomago because it's a different version of the one we've done previously. This is the X Tech, looking at the little writing at the right bottom of it. That's kind of got caught my eye, to be fair. So I think we should have a look at that one. I'm also looking at what's after this one. It's so easy. You could just stand, stand here and try and buy every car. As long as you set a max bid, I think you're pretty safe. So, Category Tomago. Let's have a look at it. How bad is it going to look? But it needs a wash. That's my first instinct, is it definitely needs a wash. Um, yeah. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad from the outside. But it, yeah, it definitely needs to put it through the washer. Is it, what information does it have for us? Is, the engine is not too bad by the looks of it. Okay, so it is the X-Tech version. So one we haven't done before. So it's going to be a new one for our leaderboards if we can get it. Um, yeah, it is what it is. It's a little car, a little runaround. I'm assuming it's not going to be that expensive, but I don't know. Uh, it's got an i4 DHC engine. We've dealt with those before. And what is the map? What is the estimated value? That's the important part. Okay, not bad. Just under twenty thousand. So our max bid will be twenty thousand. I think that's a decent price for us. Top end with the max with the estimated value being just below that. So we'll see what we can do. So no more than twenty thousand. Fast and furious bidding. We're up to ten. It's getting closer. 15, 16, 17, 18, it's going to quickly 18 still. Have we got it? We have got it. And we actually managed to get it for 18,764. That's not bad. I still think that's a bargain. I think we can do a lot with that. Um, yeah, we've paid, definitely paid more than that for cars before, so I'm pretty happy. So we have a brand new category, well, it's not brand new to be fair, worn category Tomago X Tech version that we've not touched before. Next. Now, what should we do? I've been. I, I kind of think we should get a car we can one star. We've done a few previously. Um, I'm just looking at what we could do. I'm considering the Hanata Moon. I wanted an electric. To be fair, I want. I want an electric car. Um, but there isn't any here. So the Hanata Moon Mark II would be a one-star car for us if we managed to do it. So that would be another one-star car added to our repertoire. I think that's probably a good shout. It's a decent car in itself. This one, on the other hand, it needs a wash and it needs a lot of work. <laughs> it's missing a lot of the car. It's more of a shell. But yeah, this will be a one-star car if we can get it. I'm assuming the price will be pretty low, looking at the state of it. Let's hope. Same engine as we've done previously, so yeah, it definitely will be a one star. If we can manage to get it for a decent price, that is. The reason we're using top price, top bids as well, because I don't want to leave ourselves with not enough money to do up a car. So I'm being, I am always very, very careful how much we spend. So I think a top bid is a safe way of doing that. And it seems to work well, to be honest. I wasn't sure what to expect. It's a turbocharged i4. Yeah, I think this will be a decent car for us to have a look at. As I say, it'll be a one star. We can add it to the rest of the one stars we have done, which isn't many at this point. And it's worth less than 10 grand. He's only a one star rated. We will have a max bid of £10,000. There is no way I'm paying more than that. The amount of work that he's doing, it needs to be less. Starting price is 1448 Let's see if we can get this for a decent price. I've already up three and a half, four, can't get it for four, nearly five. There's a few bidders involved, just under six, We're over six now, seven, and we won, we won! We got the Hanata Moon for £7,748. That's not bad. Under the estimated value, under our maximum bid, I'm happy. We haven't really been surpassed when it comes to max bid so far. Whether my max bids are too high, or I don't know. Okay, we're going to do one more car. 
while we're here. One more. I think that's plenty after that. And I'm looking at the Porsche. We haven't... We've done the Porsches in the DLC, look at, looking at the DLC cars. We haven't actually built a Porsche. And again, it needs a wash. Definitely needs some work. But I'm thinking I'm going for this one. The engine looks like it's all there. It just needs work. That's not too bad. Okay. Standard version. Will this be a decent price or are we going to struggle? I don't know. It's kind of one of those cars that you kind of think will go for good money. It's all going to depend on what the estimated value is though, isn't it? But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're going to go for it. We're going to see what happens. We've got a B6 M64.50 engine. It's not bad. As I say, we haven't done Porsche, so let's have a look. So, her huh, estimated value is 37.5. So our max bid will be £40,000. Starting price is £4,161. We haven't yet reached a max bid on any car. So we'll see what happens. Already up to 11, 14. Wow, this bid is going quickly. 17, 19, although like I say, we've got up to 40. 22, 25, 28, £30,000 already. 32, we're getting close to our max. 35, we're well, over the max, the value of the car. 40,000, that's my last bid. No, we've been outbid. Yeah, we, we maxed down with 40,000. The winner took got it for 41,300. I just couldn't risk it. It was already well over, well, a good few and a half, few grand over the estimated value, so we do lose that one. So out of five cars we bid on, we only lost one having a max bid. That's not bad, really. And I think we did a good job today. I think we managed to get some nice cars. There's a few decent ones to add to our leaderboards. And that is it. So the next episode, we will be rebuild the Jaguar XJ220 that we've just paid for. This one over here. We'll be looking to do the rebuild of this, put it around the track for the leaderboards, and see what we can do with it. It's going to be an exciting rebuild for sure. As always, if you are enjoying this series or any content, don't forget to subscribe. And a like on the episodes does really help as well. Join us in the next episode for the rebuild of the Jaguar XJ220.